Hello. Uh, what can I say about this video? I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try. This is, uh, no, let's talk about this. The serious part of this video. And the serious part of this analysis is, look at, this is a value line investment survey made for First Solar. Uh, I forgot the date. It was sometime in 2010, maybe. Within two months, the stock price uh, crashed to something like 30 or something. They had projected the stock price going up to 40, 440 or 200. Not criticizing value line. No, all I'm going to do in this video is we're not going to do anything fancy, but understanding forecasts and interpreting forecasts is is, is uh, crucial. How do you really do it for different companies? It's a big issue. But this time, here's what we're going to do. Let's make a shortcut. I'm going to make a video just on shortcuts. I know you can use Alt H0 or something like this. I'm going to make one on the ones I use. Nothing else starting in the beginning but not, that's not this video this video is on how to interpolate they start stop with 2012 go from some bizarre murky year here but let's make that 2015 how do we put numbers in between okay now if we do it by hand you could if you interpolate with growth rates you could press f4 and divide that by this one and raise that to the power of one two three four minus one one divided by three and then we could multiply this one by the earlier one okay and then i suppose we could interpolate this one too but this time we'd have to reduce one now in case you didn't notice uh or we could even uh, 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 take that same growth rate and just copy it over. I suppose we could have uh, taken the uh, F4 out of the uh, row. Oops. Go to the row here. F4 out of the row that one right did i do that right okay and then we go down that's interpolation now you could stop the video now that's fine stop it now if that's all you want to do we're going to make a function that does this though we're going to solve these horrible things why they don't have a function in this all you have to do well i've never made this function by the way so <clears throat> i'm gonna screw up i'll tell you right now but we want we can count we're going to count we, we once we have this one and this one we can figure out how many how many are in between right we can this we get a column number we can figure out the column number you know in in you can put equal column here okay and get the columns so we would raise this to the how much is in between the column numbers, right? So we put this number in the function and this number in the function. And then we figure out what uh, uh, column we're on. And maybe we can't do that in... Uh, uh, maybe we can't do this. I'm stopping this video right now and I'm going to practice this. We're going to make an interpolate with a function okay so this is just interpolate 